Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick preview to the Philadelphia Flyers' first game back, finally, from the holiday break against the Seattle Kraken, as it is the first time that they will be playing the Seattle Kraken out there in Seattle, marking the 42nd time uh, they played a away team. Uh, the lines for this game <clears throat> are starting from bottom to top. Max Willman, Patrick Brown, and Zach McEwen from left to right wing. James Van Riebsdijk, Morgan Frost, and Jerry Mayhew, the 12th flyer to make their debut this season, uh, making his debut on that third line, which makes sense. He's more of a third line player. Um, the way he plays being a former AHL MVP, it makes sense to put him up on the third line and not put a guy like Mayhew where a guy like Wilman can slide. Uh, I feel like if J.B. doesn't play a great game, you end up seeing him slide down to the fourth line and see Wilman move up or something as such. Uh, Oscar Lindblom, Giroux, and Atkinson's the second. Faraby, Hayes, and Konechny is the first. Then you got Provorov, Braun, Sanheim, Bristow, Yandel, and Knowlton. And then Martin Jones is starting as Carter Hart is, of course, one of the uh, few flyers along with uh, Ryan Ellis, who is, of course, still banged up. Uh, Scott Lawton, Derek Broussard, and Sean Couturier, um, all in COVID protocols. Uh, Martin Jones is going to get the start. It'll be interesting to see tomorrow. We play San Jose in a back-to-back. -back. If he's going to get the back-to-back, -back, but that's something we'll worry about tomorrow. Or if we are going to actually get to see Felix Anderson play his first game. But tonight is going to be Martin Jones, who more times than not has been good this year to lead to his 907 save percentages. 333 goals against is more for the um, awful games that the team has played. He's only really had one awful game, I would say, uh, this season himself, where the other games that he's let in more goals than he would like is more because of the just terrible times this team has had this season um, to lead to the 512-12-5 record, where obviously the Flyers were much better coming in to the break, uh, which is a huge thing to start. They beat Vegas, uh, they beat Arizona, they beat New Jersey, lost in overtime, uh, to Montreal in a shootout to Montreal, I should say, and then beat Ottawa. Uh, so this team is on a five-game point streak. Hopefully they can keep that going um, and then keep it going in the right direction uh, since they are 500 now and there's still plenty of time as a marathon, not a sprint. But, of course, for the Flyers, this far the reason Jones does have not the best goals against is more so just because of the struggles of the team and not necessarily – the struggles of Marty minus one uh, performance he wasn't oh so great in. But um, when it comes to this overall game with the Flyers, the Seattle crack in this season are a very scrappy, competitive team most of the bunches to get them to 10-17-3. But the Flyers, as long as they keep playing how they have on this five-game point streak, are the better team than the Seattle Kraken. They have a more uh, filled out and thorough roster. Obviously, we have some guys out, uh, which is going to be a big factor in this game. But the Kraken um, also have Appleton, who's been very good for them this year. Uh, Vince Dunn, who's been solid on defense. And then Donato, who's more of a bo bottom liner. And then um, they're not going to have Adam Larson in this game. Um, or Alexander True. Uh, odd to see Adam Larson scratched. But the Seattle Kraken, their defense, uh, you can get through their defense. And um, Philip Grubauer has not been as sharp this year. It looks like he's going to get the start. He was absolutely fantastic last year. I'm um, still settling into Seattle. I think he will, but he hasn't got there yet. Um, their lines had Max McCormick, Sheehan, Geeky, Morgan Geeky, Marcus Johansson, Alex Wamberg, Jonas Donskoy, Kelly Young, Croak, Yanni, Gord, Colin Blackwell, Jaden Schwartz, Jared McCann, and Jordan Eberle. So... Um, the Kraken, again, usually they uh, battle and stay in the game, but the Flyers should be able to beat this team, um, even with the guys they have out in Couturier and Brass and Lawton, um, as well as their top goaltender, because we've seen Martin Jones already step up um, in this season and play good big games. But hopefully against the Kraken, the defense is also able to hold in this first game back and actually have a pretty good defensive game because the Kraken are not a most potent offensive team either. So you shouldn't be letting them all of a sudden put four goals on you, say, and then you have to win this game 5-4 to four or 6-4 to four or something like that. But obviously it's the first game back. Um, maybe it'll take a little bit to get back for the ECHL foot of the Flyers running Royals. It didn't as they potted uh, five goals. Um this far in the evening, the last time I check, but normally it takes a little bit for teams to get back. Uh, other times, 
not as much. But the Flyers, they just have to play the game. They've been playing a lot better exiting zones. And just, they've been sloppy at times with the quick pace passes, but they've been thinking a lot quicker under Yo, which is a great step in the right direction to then get unsloppy. Because you can fix kind of playing sloppy. You can't necessarily all the time with the guys uh, mess with the same message all the time. That's why they had to end up getting rid of the coaches. Of fix just guys kind of playing in a stalemate where they just keep chipping it in and whatever. So the new message and the new motto is obviously working brought forth um, by Mike Yo. So it is going to be interesting to see um, if the Flyers can keep this up, keep this better play up from pre-break. The only poor game they really played was against the Canadians, but they still were able to get a point out of it. They have the five-game point streak. Hopefully they can make it six tonight in Seattle. This is going to be a late night, obviously, watching Flyers hockey. I would say there's a good chance they make it um, to a six-game point streak tonight, but I don't predict, um, I try not to predict to jinx anything in terms of a win or a loss. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been the latest edition of The Grittiest Take. A preview to the Flyers' first game out there in Seattle um, against the Seattle Kraken. Enjoy the game. I'll be back to recap the game after the game. Subscribe down below. Keep showing your love and support. Really appreciate you all for it. Go Flyers. Let's get that win in Kraken land tonight.